what you mean, DJ Sturgis, B103, Hot 1057. You already know, man. I'm kicking it with the homie XO, Big Dream. We got to be kicking it. You already know, man. You got to fuck with my homie right here, dog. This nigga got that heat. You see? You see this? You see this? You see this? That's that sauce dripping. Make sure you check out the music, man. Trust me. Man, going up. What you mean? Lost TV, what's happening? What you mean? We back at it. Already DJ Sturgis here, man. Joined by XO the producer, XO the DJ, XO the artist. What's up, brother? What's the deal? What's going down, baby? Damn, man. You got a lot going on out here, bro. Like, you on tour right now? Moving around? I'm so far tour? Yeah, yeah. I'm on a ride wave tour right now. Uh, it's crazy, bro. We just uh, grinding, you know, just trying to take it to the next level. I'm, I'm, I'm just blessed to be a part of it. Yeah, man. Um, like y'all got a crazy lineup, Rod Wave, No Cap, Ruby Rose, you, you know, and uh, last night when we linked up um, uh, at the studio at the listening event, um, I saw that you had the recaps of the shows uh, playing, you know what I'm saying? And like, I, I went and checked out the other episodes, so you dropping episodes like once a week, recap. Oh yeah, it's, it, the, the shows are so crazy, it's like you gotta yeah. put that in these people's face, you gotta let them see what's going on, man, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what's happening, man. And, and like you got a you got a crazy track record, man, because because you are an artist, you are a producer, and you are a DJ. Like, talk about like that mixed bag. Like, like what did you start off with first? Was you DJing, producing? Um, yeah, I, well, I started off DJing first. That was the first thing I um kind of started doing. Uh, you know, my my uh my really close friends who's actually like my managers too, on top of that. Mm-hmm. Um, we always like young promoters, you feel what I'm saying? So it started off with us just trying to find a way to lower expenses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just like shit. If somebody learned how to DJ, we ain't gotta pay no DJ. That's a big fact. You feel what I'm saying? So that's that's how I started DJing. You feel what I'm saying? And then it got into the producing, start producing records for people. Then it got into uh, the artistry. I started doing hooks for people, putting records together, and then it got to me actually completing full songs by myself. You feel what I'm saying? End up dropping some music and it just started taking off regionally for me. And then, you know, we just kept going. That's what's up, man. And like coming from a DJ, did you feel like there was an uphill battle for people to take you serious as a producer and as an artist? Oh, of course. Now, this is what happens. This is the first thing they see every time. Oh, so now he rapping now? Or he, you feel what I'm saying? Because it's people don't like to see you in they lane, like in everybody else's lane. If you come in one way, that's how they want to, you know what I'm saying? You jump in their lane, you start being more successful for them. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's sometimes that can bother them. You know what I'm saying? So you got to try, you got to be somebody that got great relationships and somebody that got good balance on making sure, you know what I'm saying, that people know that y'all are locked in, you feel what I'm saying? And just do stuff the right way. You know what I'm saying? And when, and when you do that, you put yourself in a position where it don't matter what's going on. They gonna be like they can only hate to a certain extent. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, make it hard for them to deny you. I feel that. So, like, how long have you been doing music now? Though? Like from DJing on up. Um, DJing has probably been about eight years now. Wow. Producing, like five or six, like six, and then the artistry about four. My first, my first regional hit, which was off the lot, that record came out maybe four years ago. And that was like the first song I ever recorded. Yeah. And that was the one that went. And do you think that your relationships played a big part in that? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, people don't understand. I'm already a DJ off the rip. Yeah. So I already knew if I dropped, if I dropped some music, it was going to work because all the DJs are my homeboys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's gonna support it. Everybody gonna play it two times a night. You know what I'm saying? And you know the radio station, all that. As soon as they see a little traction, the colleges, everything, they gonna go because you know I got these relationships with these guys. Yeah, I feel that. And and the thing is, like wh- like what I'm hearing is a whole bunch of growth. Like just like an entrepreneur. Like I tell people all the time, like you can own one business, but eventually you gonna go and you gonna evolve into another business and another business. And that's really what you are doing with your career. And that's what you're supposed to do. Cause at the end oh, of yeah. the day, like it don't matter what 
game? Like, like what lane you in in this game? You know what I'm saying? Whether you the artist, the producer, you A and R, you the manager, you the radio personality, media host, whatever. It's like you got to start somewhere, and then you just evolve into something else. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that's well, all it's been. You know what I'm saying? Because you 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 eight years in, you get yeah. eight years in the game, and then producing five artistry four. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's like that. Like your stock yeah. is rising. That's all. Now I'm waiting for this acting too. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get all this in. Okay, acting. Let's go ahead and get into the acting. So, um, what? Like, um, ha- have you started uh taking acting classes? Do you got some roles on the way? Some scripts coming at you? What's that? Nah, I ain't not yet. But after this tape drop, and mm-hmm. after my uh my song with Trey Songz drop, yeah, we yeah, gonna talk about that. Like, you know what? I gotta put that light skin brother in the movie right there, man. Yeah, hey man, you know what? The only thing you gotta do is really come to the A. Everything getting filmed here. You know what I'm saying? One way or another, something got to get filmed here. Well, I'll tell you this. I've turned I've turned down a couple um stuff, but it was more so like it was more so like reality type of stuff. And I was just like, I ain't want to get into that. But Good. it's crazy. Oh. Um <laughs> I just thought about it. Um I do have a role um that I will be playing in. I just don't know what role or how it's gonna basically work yet, but I did get a phone call. Uh, one of my business partners, uh, D. Rick, he um, he has a movie called Thirty uh, Third. It's like something. It's it was something that started in Texas with like all our legends. Yeah, you know what I'm saying all the Slim Thugs and the and the Big Mo's, just all the you know our era. And he's about to do it again, but he's about to do it this time with more so the younger guys in the industry now. So. I am gonna be in there, hoping I run and jumping over some fences. I need yeah. to be doing all that. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot of stories that can be told um out of the state of Texas, man. Definitely. Oh yeah. So so who's some of the OGs that played a part in you falling in love with music and wanting to do music? Like some of your favorite artists. Um, some of the OGs you talking about like Texas, or you talking about just like Texas, just the game? Texas. Texas. If we talking Texas wise. Big Mo played a big part, you know what I'm saying? Because he was one of the first people, one of the first artists I've heard, like, seeing rap, you know what I'm saying? And then it got to the point where I got a little older, and I'm hearing, like, more so, like, the Zeros. Uh, Slim Thug played a very um, big part, you know what I'm saying? It's a record that he got on that I produced for Trina. Hmm. It was a record that he got on that I produced for Trina, and that record wouldn't have happened if he didn't get on it, you know what I'm saying? So he always... When he sees somebody right on that yeah. verge, he always jump in, bro, and help us. He's he's done that from all the guys in my era that's that's coming up, that's doing their thing, like the Trill Sammys and the Max O's and all, all them guys. Slim has yeah. always been the one right there to help everybody. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So he's one of he's one of the ones, definitely. A little flip, another one. Mm-hmm. Still embrace me, Lil Kiki. Like all these guys support me like crazy. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So That'll be, you know, for me, that's the ones. And like you list these OGs, but then you work with the OG that everybody wants and Jay Prince and being on Rap a lot. Uh, yes, sir. How do you make that connection and, and and what is it like working with Jay Prince? Uh, Man, I'm gonna tell you this. It's easy. Wow. It's so easy. It's so easy, bro. Like that's one of that's one of the best moves that I've made in my career. You know what I'm saying? That's one of like I'll tell you one thing about Jay. Jay, he he's one of the best businessmen I know. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the best overall man. He gives great advice. You feel what I'm saying? And he's there. Like if you need anything, he's always there, bro, to help to to help you get accomplish it. It's not been one time that I haven't called Jay and asked him for something. Like I, you know what I'm saying? I might need to get in the room with with uh you know with different artists or different producers so like that I can't get in touch with him. He called him right there. He called him right there. Mm-hmm. And to do as long as I'm ready now, if I'm not ready, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If I'm not ready and not prepared, then you know what I'm saying? He's gonna tell me, hey, get yourself together blah, 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 when you're ready. But when but if you're ready and he and he know that he can he can count on you getting in that room and you can get the job done, mm-hmm. he gonna he gonna make that connection for you. You know what I'm saying? And super nobody- easy to work with him. It's 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 like it's super easy, bro. Yeah, and there's nobody in the game that's going to ignore a call from Jay Prince at all. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> For real, man. But one Probably way or not. another, like, you don't know what's going to happen on the other end, but you know you're going to answer the phone, man. Like, that's yeah. how much respect that but, man is in the game. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something about Jay. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And it's something that I've never told nobody. Wow. I'm talking about this is going on. Exclusive. Right. This is so I'm going to tell, tell you how, man, this man blessed me. Y'all don't even understand, bro. When I, when I, when I got ready to uh, uh, work out my situation with him coming on my management team, you want to know what he told me? Wait, tell you. He said, XO, you give me the percentage that you feel like I'm worth. Wow. I want you, you know what I'm saying? You draw, you draw what you, you draw up however you want to do it. He messed with my sound so much. He told me that I was, I was one of the first producers from our, from Texas that he's heard in a long time. Um, that's, that sounds so crisp and just sounds so ready. You feel what I'm saying? So it was like, he was down with being on my team regardless. It didn't even matter. He just seen something in me and wanted to help me, bro. And for that, I respect that man. You know what I'm saying? I respect that man. And, I, and, it, and it showed me how how great of a businessman and just how, if it's something great, he want to be a part of it. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Absolutely, absolutely. And the thing is, like, salute to you for taking that and running with it, man, because a lot of people oh, yeah. don't know how to seize that, their opportunities, you know what I'm saying? Because and they deep down don't be ready. Facts. You got to be ready for this. You got to yeah. be ready to work. You got to be ready to grind. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It's not something where uh, you get a deal and then you sit back and it's over. No, sir. It's time to go 10 times harder. And they don't, people don't get that. Yep. And that's why you got the tag. Exo think he all that. Come on, man. <laughs> I think I feel that way, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Last night, um, I pulled up on you at the studio, man. Uh me, some some a lot of the top DJs in the city, um, a lot of the top media personalities in the city came through and fuck with you. Um, we checked out some records. You got some shit that I fell in love with. Uh, that Trey Songz record, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had to get in your face and be like, yo, I got to have this record, you know what I'm saying? Now, again, I'm going to remind you here. I got to have that record when you drop it because I got to play it I got to play it on V. I got to play it in Milwaukee, you know what I'm saying? I got two number one shows I got to handle, you know what I'm saying? I got to uh, have so, it. Listen, it's coming, bro. I, listen, I promise you, we coming and we coming strong. I'm talking about. Maybach tops off with our shirt off. <laughs> All the girls chase. Oh my God, we love you, XO. We love you, Trey. We going crazy. That's what's happening. Man. Trust me. But you know what though? Like a lot of artists don't understand that in order to get an artist like Trey Songs or anybody else of that magnitude to want to hop on your record, not only do that, but help you promote it, do the video, all that. Shit. Oh yeah. It goes beyond just your artistry. You know what I mean? Nah, yeah, it, it it was love from the jump since the, the the first day we met. You know what I'm saying? It's always been love, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro, pick up my phone calls, answer my texts. Like he literally, when we made that record, after I did my verse, I sent it to him. I said, Trey, tell me what you think. After he heard it, it made him want to go back in. Mm-hmm. He told me, send me the session right now, bro. Send me the session. I'll go in the studio tonight. It made him want to go back in and just give more. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, this is really official. Bro, not playing. That's what you have having fun with it. That's that creation. Yeah. Tell you. Full steam. And so, um, and, and you talk about like your connections with people. Uh, I saw it last night with one of the with one of the DJs um, in the listening event. Uh, we was going through the records, you know, where everybody was talking about what's their top two records. And dude stopped everything, was like, hold up, what you did for your peoples, that's all of the shit. Like, it wasn't even about the music no more. It was just about you and him knowing that, you know what I'm saying? And him making sure that he gave you your flowers for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was sure. close attention to that shit, dog. Cause a lot of people ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, they don't, bro. They don't, they don't, because people don't really understand how important it is to connect with everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I try to make sure that I tell people my story as much as possible to show them that, bro, we the same, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We the same, bro. A year and a half, two years ago, I didn't have none of this on, bro. Yeah. I, like, we you know what I'm saying? We come from the same thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm just to a point where, you know what I'm saying? I'm following my dreams. I'm, and I'm not giving up. And I didn't, I messed around and found a team of people around me, you know what I'm saying, that, that love me enough and love what I'm doing musically to help me. Mm-hmm. But it took me 10 years to find that. Right. You people feel what I'm saying? So it's like, years, I'm bro. just like you, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And I just yeah. want to make sure they know that. So I try to show them my personal life as much as possible. My kids, me giving back to the community. You know what I'm saying? I bought I bought a barbershop and That's gave it to my sister. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like stuff like that. Gave her the papers, gave her the keys. 
what I'm saying? That's what he was talking about. He seen it on my page. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's the type of person I am. So how has life changed for you from starting from being a DJ to getting your production game going? To being a 360. I'm sorry. A 360. You keep going. But it was a 360. All the way around. Okay, okay. So here, right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to break it down. How has it changed in your personal life, your business life, and with the women? <laughs> well, I'm still getting chased by the women just like before I before this even happened. So that ain't okay. changed. That's, that, that'll probably happen to me for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that was an easy one. Now, business-wise, of course, my business had, has definitely, absolutely went to a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? The numbers I was, I was getting in, they've quadrupled. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Um, my personal life, like, um, a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to help the people around me. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to, uh, you know, I got a house. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I used to live on the streets. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So from the streets, from me actually being able to have a house now, like that's you know that's an amazing feeling. But not a not a regular house, a real house. You yeah. know what I'm saying? A real house. You know and saying? the Texas houses be big as shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, bro, it's just you know what I'm saying. It ain't got me all the way to the point now, like where you know what I'm saying. I'm about to drop this project, Big Dreams. Yes. Um, on the way. In the next two, three weeks, we we about to put it, you know what I'm saying? We about to put it out and get these get his folks these music. So it's like me getting to the point where I'm able to drop this big boy project like that, bro. And with uh, you know, with all the support and the people that's behind it is about to help me make this thing bigger than life. Like, that's crazy. So before I let you go, um, you got the new project, Big Dreams on the way. But um uh... Like, like, why did you decide to drop it while you're on tour? Because a lot of artists would drop it before they go on tour, or maybe a little bit after the tour is ended, but you're dropping it, like, as the tour is escalate. Well, because it's just a, a strategic move. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a little different. People See, people fall in love with me, who I am, how I perform, how I inter interact with the people. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's more, so I got them, and then we hit them with the music. Now... I can get them to really sit and listen and pay attention. You feel what I'm saying? So we just, it's just, it's just a different strategy, you know. It's just everybody had a, the, the way that they do things, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm just, we're just playing into my strong points, you know. Yeah, I feel that. You're playing offense, not defense. Yeah, I'm you know, defense come, defense gonna come when I drop that, uh, when I drop that Trey Songs after the yeah. tape, XOP to Trey Songs. And it's time to show, oh, okay, this boy here to stay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He not, he not playing. Okay. So big dreams coming in two, three weeks. And that's when the single coming too, right? Uh, Yo, well, the first single we're dropping is Hood Hop featuring Fujiano. You heard that last uh, so night? I'll be ready for that. Oh, yeah. It's 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 going, it's going crazy. You see them videos? Yeah. When you see them boys jumping up and down with that water? Yes, sir. That's Hood Hop. That's the see me? So y'all be ready for that video coming soon too. Okay. Cool. Well, before I let you go, um, I want to ask a question for, for for all the dreamers out there and everybody who's, you know what I'm saying, trying to make it to where you are, you know, or even just put, pursuing their own journey. Uh, what's the one thing that you did that you think changed everything for you? Um, I stay consistent, bro. I stay consistent. I'm talking about whether I had money in my pocket or whether I didn't have money in my pocket. Nobody could tell. You know what I'm saying? I stayed the same. I still went out. I still networked. I could literally have five dollars in my pocket. I would walk up, shake the DJ hand, still buy him a drink, and go home with nothing. You know what I'm saying? I would do that the same. I would like so. It's just it's one of them things where it's just like, bro, you gotta just keep going. You gotta keep going, keep going, keep going, bro. And whatever you gotta do to show elevation, bro, do it. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you got a front. I don't care what you gotta do. Just make sure you be real, people. Keep your relations good and, you know what I'm saying, just be okay. Fall in love with the process. Got to fall in love with the process of trying to get what you want. The same as if you're trying to, if you're working out, and you got to fall in love with the process of working out every day and that pain and all that, you got to find a way to love it. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't love it, you got to yeah. find a way, you feel what I'm saying, so you can get your results. So it's one of the things that just don't quit because I know too many amazing artists 
that quit possibly the day before wow. something great happened for him. Wow. See what I'm saying? I yeah, know a couple. The word. I know a couple, bro. I'm talking about super talented, bro. And really could have got a chance and really could have had an opportunity to do something great, yeah. you know what I'm saying, in this business. But they gave up. Shit. You got to put that faith to work, man. That's what's happening. Well, XO, I'm proud of you. I'm happy for you. Um, just Thank to you, see bro. where you're at and where you're going and everything that you're doing, man. You letting your sauce drip. You putting on. You know what I'm saying? Yourself, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like That's what I love to see, man. Just keep going up. Of course, again, that big dreams is coming soon. See, I'll be on yes, the lookout for that. So, uh, yeah, man, hey, when the tour is over, we're going to chop it up some more because I know you got some new shit coming also, man. And when you get that oh, yeah. acting role, we're going to chop it up again. For Come real. on, man. Get that acting role, man. We're coming back to the A, baby. <laughs> we're going to shoot, baby. We're going to do L we got to do. Let's ride. Already, man. XO on Sauce TV. I appreciate you, my guy. All Big love, Drake. Baby. Let's All go. Love. What you made?